geologists may be looking for elements that cannot be determined using fire assay, so a sample may undergo instrumental analysis. We'll briefly discuss two types of analysis in this video, ICP-AES and ICP-MS. But typically, before a sample can be analyzed by an instrument, it must first be converted to an aqueous solution. This is accomplished through acid digestion, which uses various acids to break down the minerals in the powdered sample into its molecular components. Once the acid digestion is complete, the sample is ready to undergo instrumental analysis. ICP stands for inductively coupled plasma, which refers to the mechanism by which the instrument heats the sample. Essentially, the sample is introduced as a solution to the nebulizer, which turns the solution into an aerosol. The aerosol is directed into the superheated plasma torch, which not only breaks down the solution into individual atoms in a process called atomization, but it also causes some of the atoms to gain energy and reach an excited state. At this point, we can use Atomic Emission Spectra, or AES, also called OES, to determine the sample's composition. As an atom leaves the heat of the plasma torch, it releases the energy as it returns to its ground state. The energy is released as light, or photons, which can be measured by a detector. The detector can determine which elements are present based on their wavelength, which are unique for each element and the concentration by the intensity of the light emitted. Alternatively, a lab may use ICP-MS, or mass spectrometry. As the atomized sample leaves the plasma torch, the particles are ionized, meaning one or more electrons of a given element are removed. This creates a specific mass-to-charge ratio unique for each element. Ions are then guided through a quadrupole, four parallel rods with electrical currents running through them, which allows for filtering of ions so that only those that the geologist is interested in are allowed to pass. As ions exit the quadrupole, they enter the detector, which is able to determine ion composition based on their unique mass-to-charge ratio. Concentration is calculated based on count rates. Different elements perform better on each type of instrument, and there are a wide variety of other analytical techniques not discussed in this video, so it's important to talk to the assay lab about samples before they are submitted. For examples of how Origin uses geochemistry at our different projects, check out originroyalties.com.